On February 20th, U.S. President Joe Biden made a surprise visit to Kyiv, where he met with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. The visit, which took place as the Ukraine war approached its first anniversary, was intended to convey Western solidarity with the Ukrainian cause. As per reports, while President Joe Biden was in Ukraine, Russia conducted a test of an intercontinental ballistic missile, which seems to have not worked as intended. It was also reported Russia notified the United States in advance of the launch through deconfliction lines. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how President Putin's attempt to threaten the U.S. failed with an unsuccessful Sarmat ICBM test. Let's get into the details. Sarmat was introduced during a 2018 Russian State of the Nation address as the next generation of weaponry that could breach any missile defense system. Sarmat is a three-stage missile and uses liquid propellant, the exact nature of which is classified. The missile has a speed of over Mach 20.7. It weighs in at a massive 200 tons, making it the heaviest missile in the world. To give viewers a perspective, the U.S. land-based strategic missile, LGM-30 Minuteman III, has a weight of 35 tons, approximately. According to some estimates, the missile's striking range is up to 18,000 kilometers, or 11,185 miles. It also has a large number of divided parts, from 10 to 15 warheads, each with a capacity of up to 750 kilotons. They'll fly to their target at hypersonic speeds, performing maneuvers so that the existing American missile defense system will be incapable of intercepting them. Little Boy atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima had a yield of 15 kilotons of TNT. Sarmat's cumulative explosive power will be 15 warheads multiplied by 750 kilotons, which is around 11,000 kilotons of TNT. It will also be able to accommodate hypersonic boost glide vehicle as well as decoys. The Russian news outlet Sputnik reported that a single Sarmat is capable of wiping out parts of the Earth the size of France or Texas. As per Russian Ministry of Defense, around 50 Sarmat ICBMs will be produced. The first contract for the production of the missiles was signed in August 2022. The missile has been successfully tested before. On the 20th of April 2022, according to the Russian Defense Minister, at 1512 Moscow time, at the Plisetsk State Test Cosmodrome in Archangelsk region, a Sarmat fixed-based intercontinental ballistic missile was successfully launched from a silo launcher. It's likely that Russia's President Vladimir Putin would have highlighted it in his State of the Union address if the missile had worked this time too. The timing of the test launch and the potential message it could have conveyed, whether intentional or not, would have been unsettling nonetheless. On the tactical front, while Sarmat may be more powerful and modern, American Minuteman III is much more reliable. It's to be noted that the new LGM-35A Sentinel ICBM is already being developed to replace Minuteman III. So the Russian attempted threat was not a good idea in the first place. And now that it's failed, it's an embarrassment. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.